Okay, what in the world is going on with this new Star Wars Outlaws game? It looks absolutely dreadful, and I'm hearing reports of requirements of a 3060 Ti just to run this at 720. Absolutely horrific announcements coming out of this game. So let's start with the specs of what has come out for Star Wars Outlaws, and this has me troubled over the what we're what people are going to need for this game ubisoft recommends geforce rtx 3060 ti rendering at 720 not even 1080 so not even hd this is like the generation of cards that put all the games and video into high definition in the first place and ubisoft is coming out here and saying no it's not good enough anymore you need to upscale your uh, your video card you need the latest video cards to play our games for what for an absolute shit fest of a game where literally you are trying to do stealth missions without anything going on there you're going to walk up next to a uh, npc and Tap them on the shoulder as they drop their gun. It's fucking my 600 pound life like right <laughs> yeah. here. Uh, this is more of that kind of just fucking slow, like, like, uh, uh. and then just fucking, oh. Drop it. It's absolutely ridiculous to actually see something like that. You tap someone on the shoulder, watch them drop their weapon. You're like, what is this? This isn't, that's not good programmed AI. That's shortcutting at its finest. And this is another one of those situations. Obviously, part of the engine they're using is going to be very taxing on your systems for PC. So this is going to be one of those games that when it comes out on console, it'll be optimized very well for a console, but not for your PC. Star Wars Outlaw, new open world game set in an iconic universe where you take on the role of a smuggler from the studio behind The Division sounds like a winner. No, not quite. However, with recent gameplay deep dives and previews being mostly lukewarm, Ubisoft asking for extra money to play the game a few days early, the hype for what should be the month's biggest release doesn't seem to be there. This is also the modern or the monetization of a video game that has gone through the roof. What is it, $140 or something like that to unlock this entire game? Sorry, correct me if I'm wrong, $130. That's American. That's not Canadian. This is just a image I've pulled up. $70 for the base game, $110 for a upgraded gold edition, then $130 for the ultimate edition, or you can get the discounted version at $17.99 a month and then pay $170 plus, what would that be, another $36 a year? Yeah, no, you're over $200 a year just to play this game. Yeah, sure, you get all the old Ubisoft titles, but they're remaking all their original titles at this point and going to add in just ass backwards compatibility for the modern audience. This is absolutely dreadful to even see. So as reported here, the minimum requirements to play this game, you need a Ryzen 5 3.6 or an Intel Core i7 at 8700K, 3.7 or better. The graphics, they're saying you need a minimum of a 1660 uh, GTX card to play this game, but you're going to be playing this at 1080p at 30 frames per second, a very, very low resolution for this game now, well, I guess 1080p is your uh, high definition, but when it comes to PC specs, where most people are well beyond that at this point, and I am going to guess it's just going to be a laggy crap game because they're probably going to add in some more digital rights management. Recommended specs is, uh, it's recommended to have a 3060 Ti just to be able to play at 1080, 60 frames per second, but it's being reported that it, you're going to end up going down a scale to have a quality version of the game that's not going to be as laggy at the 720p. That's the issue here. Games should be standard looking at a 3060 card and trying to run their games at 1080 60 frames per second that should be the standard right now not this poor optimization standard that we have seen with many games coming out in the last little while that causes either delays in uh, production of the game or 
creates a optimization so poor that the game lags so poorly that you just can't even play it. I, I, I think of like Redfall when it comes up to that. These standards too was one of the deal, one of the things I dealt with for Hogwarts Legacy as well. There was a lot of lagginess that I was dealing with with the game and I had to go and adjust a lot of things in my system just to try and able to deal with the frame rate issues. Later updates to games like Hogwarts did fix that, but on pawn release, these games, they can't sit there. Now for the high scale, they're recommending a 3080. That is above what I'm running on this channel right now. I have a 3070 Ti in my system. The system I built two years ago, 2022, I built the system, a 3070. I should be able to play this game at ultra almost. Uh, I, you know, I bring it down a little bit, but the 3070 is a great card in that sense. And it's very taxing when now you've got to factor in that your video card is no longer capable of running these types of games at the higher scale. One of the reasons why I went with the 3070 was because it was a decent card and I would estimate at least a five year, five year length use out of that card before it goes tits up unlike what we're seeing now on newer games. Uh, now the resolution, they do have 2K resolution, which is 1440p, uh, 60 frames per second. Generally, I am running a 2K monitor right now uh, in front of me. I have another 4K monitor beside me, but this one has a higher refresh rate, so it is a better monitor. So for me to get told that I can't run this game at a high scale, um, and now that I have to turn around and buy the latest version of a graphics card in order to do this, I don't think it's a very good uh, good look or a very good optimization of the video game. The ultra settings, you need a 4080 or a Ryze, uh, Radeon 7900 just to be able to run this. You need the, your top end cards to run this at ultra. You're not going to have to drop a grand or two grand on a video card just to run that. That's absolutely insane to think that this, this is where things are. I am seeing games from history that look better than this right now. So why is there so many assets being added to this game? Th these are things that are an absolute nightmare. There's certain programs that I've recently dove into where the assets on the game on these on these games completely descale what you can do in them and obviously they are adding way too many things on there phasmophobia is a great example of what was going on here for the types of assets that things are being made with it, phasmophobia is a horror like genre game where you need to guess what the ghost is that you're you're fighting up against and they're without getting killed by the ghost one of their particular levels was taxing on systems for some unknown reason. And what they had found out is the, the assets that they added to the game, one particular asset they added to the game was so large in a file that it actually created so much lag loading that particular map that they were able to go in, narrow down that situation, remove that asset and replace it with one that was a percentage like we're talking one percent of the amount of pixels in it and it fixed everything across the board and that's where optimization of video games has fallen off the scale they keep throwing all these things into these games and then they just fall down on their face but then instead of going through the game and seeing the bugs and seeing the actual thing and they don't have play testers going through it they don't have quality control going through it no they have to push a narrative and make certain characters look like they're they're they've had butter slapped all over their face from the model that was there this goes back to the previous video that i talked about for star wars outlaws these are things that we are seeing in the corporate world for video games right now like ubisoft where they're going to focus more on a narrative design instead of focusing where it matters on the quality of the game well that's my deal on what is going on with star wars outlaws after seeing some clips uh online it it looks dreadful the the story or the person they use for the model what they've done to her is absolutely horrific and now we have a game that's going to come out and it, they're, it's going to tax all your pc systems and they're going to say hey maybe buy a playstation 5 instead that's the same narrative that we've been getting on a lot of games in the last little bit saying oh a console is going to do your games better but a pc 
actually does everything better because you can do anything with the PC. But that's the way things go, I guess. Anyway, I'm your Prodigating Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.